Hi, uh, my name is Kevin Eubank. Um, some of you folks know me, some don't. I'm the guy that takes care of Leonard Knight. Um, I want to give you all an update on what's going on here. Um, I'm making this video on Monday, on sorry, on Tuesday morning. Um, this morning, Leonard woke up after a very agitated night um, and uh, asked to be taken to the hospital. Um, he's been, as many of you know, he's been having a lot of difficulty with cognitive issues lately. Um, and uh, he is aware of these cognitive issues. And uh, last night he spent a lot of time um, just completely confused and bewildered. And this morning he was uh, he was just aware enough that he wanted to go and get some help. So we took him to the hospital this morning. Um, they are admitting him for 72 hours of observation. And then after that 72 hours, he will be, um, he will be going into a full-time care facility, uh, very likely in El Cajon. I'll give you more information on that when I know for sure where he's going to be. Um, at the moment, it looks like he won't be at Salvation Mountain any longer. Um, uh, you know, this has been a, a long time coming, but it's been accelerating for the last few weeks and especially over the last week. Uh, you've seen some posting uh, from Patrick Ray about uh, what's going on. And, and I know it's been a little vague because we it's just been happening so fast um, that nobody has known what to say. And I wound up uh, at the hospital recently and found out that I have another health issue and, and uh, you know, just all this stuff happened at one time. I wound up taking three days to drive to New Mexico and back just kind of for the ride, really, uh, to clear my head. And uh, all this has just been progressing and uh, finally culminated this morning with Leonard deciding to go to the hospital. It was a good choice on his behalf because he's been suffering emotionally. Um, as you can imagine, I mean, he has, he has uh, some pretty heavy memory lapses and um, difficulty, you know, sometimes with his, with, with what's going on right now. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have, have been around uh, older folks, your parents, your grandparents, who have gone through the same sort of thing, the paranoia, uh, dementia. Um, uh, and that's what's happening to Leonard. You know, he's uh, spending a lot of time in prayer and uh, he asked me to, to let you all know what's going on. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I don't know how to ask people to help any further. Um, uh, things are changing and we're doing the best we can and we're holding things together as best we can, but my time here is very limited. Uh, once Leonard is settled and, uh, you know, and I'm sure that he's being properly cared for, then I have to start making my way out of here as well. I will not be staying here to take care of Salvation Mountain. Uh, as of now, I don't know who will be. Um, we have uh, put the word out for two years now that we needed people to come and and help with the mountain and, and it has not materialized. We've had only a couple people who have expressed interest uh, and they're still interested, but you know, we have yet to see anything come to fruition. Um, that, that does not mean that the mountain is available for the first person who wants to take it over as a pulpit. Um, we're trying to avoid that altogether. It's said Leonard Knight's creation. It was built to spread the, the message that Leonard Knight spreads and while I won't be staying here, I will do everything in my power to make sure that it doesn't become somebody else's grandstand. Um, I want to thank everybody for the support that you've shown so far, and the, the support and love that you've given Leonard over the years. He thanks you for that as well, and he knows that it's there. He feels it. Um, I hope that you will continue to visit Salvation Mountain. 
I hope you'll continue to feel at home there. And uh, I hope you'll continue to spread Leonard's message of love and, uh, you know, by loving somebody else. Thanks very much.